Have you ever found yourself overwhelmed by emotions, unsure how to navigate through them, or how they impact your decisions, relationships, and overall happiness? Emotional intelligence is the beacon that guides us through the tumultuous sea of our emotions, illuminating a path to self-awareness, better relationships, and effective decision-making. In the bustling world we inhabit, where our emotions can often lead us astray, developing a high level of emotional intelligence is not just beneficial, it's essential for personal and professional success. Emotional intelligence is the art of making emotions work for you, instead of against you. It involves recognizing, understanding, and managing our own emotions, as well as perceiving and influencing the emotions of others. Imagine navigating life's challenges with grace, understanding your emotional reactions, and positively impacting those around you. Picture a version of yourself that handles stress with ease, communicates effectively, and builds strong, meaningful relationships. This is not just a distant dream, but a tangible reality that can be achieved by enhancing your emotional intelligence. In today's video, we're going to explore 10 empowering strategies to enhance your emotional intelligence. These strategies are designed to elevate your self-awareness, improve your interactions with others, and ultimately lead you to a more fulfilling and balanced life. Each strategy is a stepping stone towards understanding and mastering your emotions, opening doors to new possibilities in how you perceive the world and interact within it. The journey towards heightened emotional intelligence is both profound and rewarding. It offers an opportunity to transform not only how you view yourself, but also how you relate to the world around you. Whether you're looking to improve your personal relationships, enhance your career, or simply find a greater sense of peace and contentment in your daily life, enhancing your emotional intelligence is a pivotal step in that journey. So, if you're passionate about personal growth, and ready to embark on a journey to a more insightful, empathetic, and emotionally intelligent you, then you're in the right place. Before we dive into these transformative strategies, take a moment to hit that notification bell and subscribe to our channel. Let's unlock the full potential of your emotional intelligence together. 1. Understanding your emotions at the heart of emotional intelligence lies the ability to understand your emotions, a crucial first step toward managing them effectively. It's about more than just recognizing when you're sad, happy, angry or afraid. It's about digging deeper to understand the why behind these emotions and their triggers. This introspection can be challenging, yet it is incredibly rewarding as it lays the foundation for emotional growth and resilience. Imagine you're feeling frustrated after a meeting at work. Instead of simply acknowledging the frustration, ask yourself, what specifically about that meeting made me feel this way? Was it the fear of not being heard or perhaps the anxiety over a looming deadline? By identifying the root cause of your emotions, you can begin to address and manage them more effectively. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, once mused, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. This profound insight underscores the impact of our emotional interpretations on our overall state of being. By understanding our emotions, we not only gain clarity over our reactions, but also empower ourselves to respond to situations with greater wisdom and control. Practical steps to enhance your understanding of emotions include keeping a journal to record emotional experiences and their triggers, practicing mindfulness to become more aware of your emotional states, and engaging in reflective practices that encourage introspection and self-questioning. As you become more adept at recognizing and understanding your emotions, you'll find that you're not only better equipped to navigate your own emotional landscape, but also more capable of empathizing with others. This deepened understanding fosters stronger, 
more meaningful connections and paves the way for a richer, more emotionally intelligent life. 2. Practicing Mindfulness Mindfulness is the gentle effort to be continuously present with experience. But how does this relate to emotional intelligence? By practicing mindfulness, you cultivate a heightened awareness of your thoughts, feelings and sensations as they occur without judgment or immediate reaction. This practice is pivotal for developing a deeper understanding of your emotions and how they influence your thoughts and actions. Consider the moment you begin to feel anger rising within you. Mindfulness allows you to observe this emotion, to note its presence and its intensity without immediately acting on it or allowing it to dictate your response. This space between feeling and action is where emotional intelligence flourishes. It's in this pause that you can choose how to respond in a way that aligns with your best self and your goals. Mindfulness can be cultivated through regular meditation where you focus on your breath and observe your thoughts and emotions as they arise and pass. But it's not limited to meditation alone. You can practice mindfulness at any moment of your day by fully engaging with the present task, whether it's eating, walking, or even listening to someone speak. The key is to do so with full attention and without judgment. Stoic philosophy, much like mindfulness, teaches us the value of living in the present. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Concentrate on the present moment. The Stoics emphasize focusing on what is within our control and letting go of what is not. Mindfulness complements this philosophy beautifully by training us to accept our present experiences without resistance, thereby reducing the suffering that comes from wanting things to be different than they are. By incorporating mindfulness into your daily routine, you not only become more aware of your emotional triggers and responses, but also develop a greater capacity for emotional regulation. This practice leads to increased patience, empathy and clarity, enhancing your relationships with others and with yourself. In essence, mindfulness is a powerful tool for expanding your emotional intelligence. It strengthens your ability to live with intention, to choose your responses and to navigate the complexities of human emotions with grace and wisdom. As you practice mindfulness, observe the transformative impact it has on your emotional landscape and your life as a whole. 3. Empathy, the heart of emotional intelligence. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of another, stands at the core of emotional intelligence. It's what enables us to connect with others on a deep, meaningful level, fostering compassion, trust and strong relationships. But empathy goes beyond merely sensing others' emotions. It involves actively imagining what it's like to be in their shoes, to see the world from their perspective. Developing empathy begins with active listening. When engaging with someone, focus entirely on what they are saying, both verbally and non-verbally. Listen not just to respond, but to understand. Observe their body language, tone of voice, and emotional cues. By doing so, you validate their feelings and experiences, which is a powerful form of empathy in itself. Empathy also involves asking thoughtful questions and expressing genuine interest in others' thoughts and feelings. This not only deepens your understanding of their emotional state, but also demonstrates your care and concern. It's important to approach these interactions with an open mind, free from judgment or preconceived notions. Remember, empathy requires humility, the acknowledgement that each person's experience is unique and valuable. The Stoics, too, emphasize the importance of understanding others. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Whenever you feel pain, remember that it's nothing to be ashamed of and that it can't degrade your guiding intelligence nor keep it from acting rationally and for the common good. This reflects the Stoic view of empathy as a means to maintain our moral compass, even in the face of others' suffering or when we disagree with their perspective. 
Cultivating empathy enhances your emotional intelligence by improving your interpersonal skills and deepening your connections with others. It allows you to navigate social situations more effectively and to respond to conflicts with compassion rather than confrontation. Moreover, empathy enriches your own emotional experiences, making you more compassionate, understanding and connected to the world around you. In practice, empathy can be as simple as asking someone how their day was and genuinely listening to their response or as complex as supporting a friend through a difficult time. The key is to approach every interaction with the intention to understand and connect, recognizing the profound impact empathy has on both our relationships and our personal growth. 4. The Power of Pause In the swift current of daily life, our reactions to situations often come automatically without much thought. However, the power of pause, a deliberate moment of stillness before reacting, can be a transformative tool in enhancing your emotional intelligence. This strategy is about creating a space between stimulus and response, allowing you to choose your actions rather than being at the mercy of your initial emotional impulses. The power of pause is rooted in the ability to halt, even for a few seconds, to breathe and reflect upon the situation at hand. This brief interlude gives you the chance to consider the most constructive response, rather than one that you might later regret. It's in this pause that you can ask yourself, what outcome do I want from this situation? Is my immediate reaction going to bring me closer to that outcome? Stoicism teaches us the importance of control over our reactions. Epictetus, a Greek Stoic philosopher, once said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This wisdom highlights the essence of the power of pause. It's about recognizing that while we cannot control every external circumstance, we can control how we choose to respond to them. Implementing the power of pause can begin with simple practices. For instance, when you feel a surge of emotion, take a deep breath and count to ten. Use this time to reflect on the emotion you're feeling, the reason behind it, and how best to address it. This practice not only helps in managing your emotions, but also in developing a mindful approach to life's challenges. The benefits of this strategy extend beyond personal tranquility. It enhances your relationships by preventing rash decisions and words that can harm others. It contributes to better decision-making, as responses are considered and intentional rather than reactive. Moreover, the power of pause fosters a sense of inner peace and resilience as you learn to navigate life's ups and downs with composure and thoughtfulness. Incorporating the power of pause into your daily life involves mindfulness and practice. It's about developing the habit of stopping to think before acting, ensuring that your responses are aligned with your values and goals. As you cultivate this skill, you'll notice a significant shift in how you interact with the world around you, leading to a more emotionally intelligent approach to life. 5. Effective Communication At the core of emotional intelligence is the ability to communicate effectively, conveying messages in a way that is clear, assertive and empathetic. This strategy involves expressing your thoughts and feelings in a manner that is respectful and considers the emotions of others. It's about finding the balance between being honest about your own needs and being sensitive to how your words might impact someone else. Effective communication is crucial in all aspects of life, from personal relationships to professional environments. It starts with the clarity of your message before you speak, know what you want to communicate and why. This clarity of intention helps prevent misunderstandings and ensures your message is received as intended. Listening plays a vital role in effective communication. It's about truly hearing what the other person is saying 
seeking to understand their perspective before responding. This two-way street fosters a deeper connection and mutual respect. Remember, communication is not just about transmitting information, it's about creating shared understanding. Assertiveness is another key component. Being assertive means expressing your views and needs directly and respectfully, without aggression or passivity. It's about standing up for yourself while also valuing the rights and opinions of others. Assertiveness builds confidence and aids in the negotiation of personal and professional boundaries. The Stoics offer wisdom that complements effective communication. Epictetus said, We have two ears and one mouth, so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This emphasizes the importance of listening in communication, encouraging us to focus more on understanding others than on merely expressing ourselves. To practice effective communication, start by observing how you interact with others. Pay attention to not only what you say, but also how you say it, your tone, your body language, and the timing of your message. Reflect on how your communication impacts your relationships and adjust accordingly. Seek feedback, be open to learning, and remember that mastering communication is a lifelong journey. 6. Managing Stress Proactively Stress is an inevitable part of life, affecting our emotions, thoughts and behaviour. However, the way we manage stress can significantly impact our emotional intelligence and overall well-being. Proactive stress management involves recognising the signs of stress early and using effective techniques to address it before it overwhelms us. This strategy is about taking charge of your emotional and physical responses to stress, ensuring they don't control you. One key aspect of managing stress is identifying your stressors. These can vary widely from person to person and might include work deadlines, personal relationships or financial worries. By understanding what triggers your stress, you can begin to develop strategies to manage or mitigate these triggers. This might mean setting healthier boundaries, improving time management, or seeking support from others. Another important technique is relaxation. Practices such as deep breathing, meditation, and mindfulness can calm your mind and reduce the physical symptoms of stress. These techniques help to center your thoughts and allow you to approach stressful situations with a clearer, more focused mindset. Incorporating regular physical activity into your routine can also be a powerful stress reliever as exercise releases endorphins, which are natural mood lifters. The Stoics offer valuable insight into managing stress. They teach us to distinguish between what is within our control and what is not, encouraging us to focus our energy only on the former. This stoic principle can be applied to stress management by accepting the things we cannot change and working to change what we can. Marcus Aurelius, for instance, advised, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Implementing proactive stress management strategies requires practice and patience. Start small by integrating stress-reducing activities into your daily life and gradually build on these practices. Pay attention to how these changes affect your stress levels and adjust your strategies accordingly. Remember the goal is not to eliminate stress entirely, but to manage it in a way that it doesn't hinder your emotional growth or well-being. 7. Cultivating Positive Relationships Building and maintaining positive relationships is a cornerstone of emotional intelligence. These relationships provide support, enrich our lives and contribute to our well-being. Cultivating positive relationships involves empathy, effective communication and a genuine interest in the welfare of others. It's about creating bonds based on mutual respect, understanding and shared values. Positive relationships are nurtured through consistent effort and attention. 
This means actively listening to others, expressing appreciation and gratitude, and being there for them in times of need. It also involves setting healthy boundaries and respecting those set by others, ensuring that the relationship is balanced and mutually beneficial. Conflict resolution plays a significant role in cultivating positive relationships. Disagreements are natural, but how we handle these situations can either strengthen or weaken our connections. Approaching conflicts with empathy, openness to compromise, and a focus on finding solutions rather than assigning blame can help resolve issues while maintaining the integrity of the relationship. The Stoics emphasize the importance of community and relationships in achieving a fulfilling life. Seneca, for example, wrote about the value of friendship and the importance of contributing to the well-being of others. He believed that true friendship is based on mutual respect and shared virtues, where both parties strive to bring out the best in each other. To foster positive relationships, make an effort to connect with others on a deeper level. Show interest in their lives, listen to their experiences without judgment, and offer support when needed. Be mindful of how your actions and words affect those around you and strive to be a positive influence in their lives. 8. Emotional Agility Emotional agility is the skill of navigating your emotions with flexibility and adapting to stressful situations with ease and confidence. It involves recognizing your emotional patterns, accepting your feelings without judgment, and choosing responses that align with your values and goals. This strategy is crucial for emotional intelligence as it enables you to manage your emotions effectively, even in changing circumstances. Developing emotional agility starts with awareness. Pay attention to how you react to different situations and the emotions that drive those reactions. Are there patterns in your behavior that you'd like to change? By becoming aware of these patterns, you can start to question their usefulness and explore new ways of responding. Acceptance is another key aspect of emotional agility. This doesn't mean resigning yourself to your emotions, but rather acknowledging them without criticism. It's about giving yourself permission to feel whatever you're feeling and understanding that emotions are transient and not definitive of who you are. Once you've recognized and accepted your emotions, the next step is to choose how you wish to respond. This choice should be guided by your values, what is truly important to you. Ask yourself, does this response move me closer to the person I want to be? This question can help you align your actions with your values, even in the face of challenging emotions. The Stoics taught that our reactions to our emotions can either enslave us or empower us. Epictetus famously said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This encapsulates the essence of emotional agility, focusing on our responses to our emotions and external events rather than the events themselves. To practice emotional agility, try to implement a brief pause before reacting to your emotions, allowing yourself the space to choose a response consciously. Engage in reflective practices like journaling to explore your emotions and responses further. And remember, developing emotional agility is a process. Be patient and compassionate with yourself as you navigate this journey. 9. Learning from Emotional Experiences One of the most profound ways to enhance emotional intelligence is by actively learning from your emotional experiences. Each experience, whether positive or negative, carries valuable lessons that can contribute to personal growth and emotional maturity. This strategy involves reflecting on these experiences, identifying the lessons they offer, and applying this knowledge to future situations. Reflection is key to learning from emotional experiences. After an emotionally charged event, take some time to think about what happened. What emotions did you feel? Why did you feel them? 
How did you react and how did those reactions affect the outcome? By asking yourself these questions, you can begin to uncover the insights hidden within your experiences. It's also important to adopt a growth mindset when learning from emotional experiences. Instead of seeing difficult emotions or situations as failures, view them as opportunities to learn and grow. This perspective encourages resilience and a willingness to face challenges head-on, knowing that each one has something to teach you. The Stoics believed in the value of self-examination and learning from every life event. Marcus Aurelius, for instance, urged us to see the opportunity in every challenge, writing, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This stoic principle aligns with the idea of learning from emotional experiences, using obstacles as stepping stones to greater emotional wisdom. To effectively learn from your emotional experiences, consider keeping a journal where you can record and reflect on significant events and the emotions they evoke. Writing down your thoughts and feelings can provide clarity and insight, helping you to understand and learn from each experience. 10. Cultivating curiosity over judgment. Embracing curiosity in our interactions with ourselves and others is a powerful strategy for enhancing emotional intelligence. Curiosity opens the door to understanding and learning, whereas judgment often closes it hindering our ability to see beyond our preconceptions. By fostering curiosity, we encourage a mindset of openness and exploration, which can lead to deeper insights into our emotions and those of others. Cultivating curiosity involves asking questions with the genuine intent to understand rather than to critique. When encountering new or challenging situations, approach them with a sense of wonder. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Or, what is this person's perspective? This approach not only enriches your understanding, but also reduces the likelihood of misunderstandings and conflict. Curiosity also plays a crucial role in self-reflection. Instead of harshly judging yourself for your emotions or reactions, approach them with curiosity. Why did you feel that way? What does this reaction tell you about your needs or boundaries? This gentle inquiry can lead to significant self-discoveries and foster a kinder, more compassionate relationship with yourself. The Stoics too valued the role of curiosity in the pursuit of wisdom. They believed in questioning their assumptions and striving to understand the world more deeply. Epictetus emphasized the importance of being open to learning at any moment stating, it is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. This highlights the barrier that judgment poses to growth and the value of remaining curious and open-minded. To cultivate curiosity, practice mindfulness to stay present and engaged in your experiences. Challenge yourself to look beyond the surface, seeking out new perspectives and deeper meanings. Remember, every person you meet and every situation you encounter is an opportunity to learn something new. If the journey through these 10 strategies to enhance your emotional intelligence has sparked a curiosity within you, don't let this be the end. We invite you to join a community of like-minded individuals who are dedicated to personal growth and emotional well-being. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest insights and guidance designed to help you navigate life's complexities with greater ease and understanding. But your journey doesn't have to be a solitary one. Share this video with friends, family, or anyone you believe could benefit from enhancing their emotional intelligence. Engage with us in the comments below. Share your experiences, challenges, and successes. Which strategy resonated with you the most? How do you plan to implement these principles in your daily life? Your stories inspire us and others, creating a ripple effect of positive change. And remember, growth is an ongoing process. 
we encourage you to revisit these strategies often, reflect on your progress, and continue exploring the depths of your emotional intelligence. Together, let's build a life rich in understanding, empathy, and resilience.